Our presentation is entitled Community Organizing, a Novel Approach to Identifying Healthcare Needs. I'm Katie Schmidt. I'm a medical student at Washington State University, and I will introduce our remaining authors at the end of this presentation. I will give a quick overview of our project. So we did a needs assessment, a healthcare needs assessment of our local Spokane community using listening sessions, which are a community organizing method. Our needs assessment identified three major themes, which are healthcare navigability, healthcare affordability, and mental health care access. Our methods, as I mentioned, included listening sessions, which were led by two team members each with Spokane Alliance organizations in the summer of 2018. Listening sessions are similar to focus groups, but with more of an emphasis on relationship building. The data from these listening sessions were categorized and we quantified them and then compiled them into a written needs assessment document, which we disseminated throughout the community. We spoke with a total of 111 community members from 13 organizations. And these organizations are listed on the bottom right of the slide and include um, churches, local education groups, and unions. So a diverse representation of the Spokane community. Our findings are listed on this slide. The numbers on the slide correspond to the number of times each theme was mentioned. So first of all, healthcare system complexity was a common theme. Um, people mentioned issues accessing healthcare at times and locations that they needed and also navigating their insurance protocols. Affordability was a common theme and this, in, this was an issue no matter what insurance people had. We spoke with people with private insurance, public insurance, and no insurance. And they all reported issues with premiums and co-pays and affordability overall. Finally, mental health was a common theme. Uh, people mentioned lack of mental health care services, such as psychiatry and counseling, and also a reluctance to seek mental health care due to stigma. What did we do with our findings? First of all, we presented to the WSU mobile medicine program called Range Health, and it was designed with our findings in mind. So they're working on providing primary care, urgent care, and reproductive health care to the community. Also, they have a charity care option to help address some of the cost issues. They're working on hiring a psychiatric nurse practitioner, and they recently launched a street medicine program to increase access to care during the COVID-19 pandemic. We also had the privilege to present to the Spokane City Council um, in November of 2018, and City Council was very receptive to our findings and committed to working with the Spokane Alliance in the future to address these gaps. Our conclusion was that our methods and results represent a cost-effective, low resource opportunity to identify community needs and begin to address them. We believe our themes are consistent throughout Washington based on our own experiences. And as healthcare providers, we believe we have a responsibility to partner with and create stronger communities. We believe the methods that we use are easily reproducible. The listening sessions were a great way to build relationships and start the process for taking action. Um, they also provided us with rich data and required minimal training and relatively minimal data analysis at the end. This is our final slide on the left is a word cloud, which was a visual representation of our data that we included in our needs assessment document and was especially helpful for people without a science or medicine background who wanted to understand our data. And then on the right is a photo of us giving our presentation to the Spokane City Council and includes four of us medical students, but also two community members sharing their stories. On the bottom are the authors. I'm Katie Schmidt from the Elson S. Floyd College of Medicine, and we also have Carly Selnabrizi and Andrew Leachty. And then from the University of Washington School of Medicine is Kellyanne Hennessy and Courtney Roberts. And as I mentioned, this was all part of our work with the Spokane Alliance, which was a great way for us to get involved with our local community during our preclinical years of medical school. Thank you for listening.